the prophecy for January 10 to January 16, 2021 is Spirit of Tyre. First, let us enter the protocol. Holy Father, here I am before you with your people. You are seated on your throne and the four living creatures surrounding you. Before your throne are the seven spirits of God. On your right hand, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, is seated on his throne. With him are the seven archangels. On your left hand, the Holy Spirit is seated on his throne. With the Holy Spirit are the nine spirits' gifts and the nine spirits' fruits. The twenty-four elders are seated, twelve on your right hand and twelve on your left hand. Holy Father, I must say, you are sovereign and you are almighty. Rule over us, rule over the earth. Yes. You said that I must speak about the spirit of Tyre because January 14 fall during this week coming and we know this is when you pronounce a prophecy against Tyre. This name, when you look at this name, that was a name, the name of a country, Tyre. A country that developed a way to govern. And this is where we get also the word tyranny. And we get also the name given to an oppressive leader called, they call him a tyrant. Man and a man. So this is, you know, the time when you said to Ezekiel, to pronounce a prophecy against Tyre. Amen and amen. Let's go to, and last week when I introduced to you the prophecy for January 2021, I spoke, I said, I'm not going to read for you. Ezekiel 26 and 27, yeah. I wanted the people, to your people, oh Lord, to concentrate on the blessing. You imagine on January 14, two things, two prophecies were pronounced. One by Moses, giving your people the 1,000 fold blessing, the blessing of multiplication, and also through Ezekiel, you pronounce a verdict against an evil nation. Yes, when a nation allow a tyrant to be the leader, you under the curse. Listen to this. In the 11th month of the 12th year, on the first day of the month, this year, this year, you know, the first day of the 11th month, the first day of Shabbat, will be January 14. My God, my God will be January 14. That's mean on Thursday. 
And then you said, tell my people to stay away from a tyrant to cast out the spirit of tire. Listen to the word. The word of the Lord came to me. Son of man, because Tyre has said of Jerusalem, Aha! The gate of the nations is broken, and its door has swung open to me. Now that she lies in ruin, I will prosper. Therefore, this is what the Sovereign Lord says, I am against you, Tyre, and I will bring many nations against you like the sea casting up its wave. Amen and amen. So listen to this. This is why what Tyre said, he said, you know what? Look at the wall of Jerusalem is broken. And this is what happened. We see even in this country, you know, you see, you see, you know, government leaders try to have the church, sway the church to present them before God's people. And it's like, you know, you know, the tyrant break down the wall of the church. <laughs> he said, now, you know, I can come in there and prosper and have them voted me to stay there. Amen and amen. And we see when a bad leader come in, they destroy the wall of the government, the constitution. And they said, okay, now all the wall are broken. Now I can take over this country for life. <laughs> and we see in the country where you have dictatorship, and they said, you know, I'm president for life. <laughs> I'll take it by force. But last week I talked to you about a problem coming. I said, your prayers on the fifth will deliver you from the spirit of tire. And we know what's happened in the United States, unless you are living under a rock. And you know what happened. My God, my God. Last week, I didn't want to be political at all. But the Lord said, you open your mouth and you see what I'm putting in it. Amen and amen. But trouble days are ahead. Trouble days are, are ahead of us. In the United States, the Lord said, I will bring many nations against you. Get ready. When other countries seen that happen, they said, yes, we can come in. We can get a group of people with us and destroy this country. I will bring many nations against you like the sea casting up its waves. They will destroy the walls of Tyre. That means the defense of this country. And pull down her towers. I will scrape away her rubble and make her a bell walk. You imagine in the midst of the coronavirus, in the midst of our suffering, the economy is in shambles. People are not working. People are underemployed. Those who are employed are underemployed. They cannot even pay their bills. Now we see, God said, I will, from the north, verse 7, I am going to bring against Tyre Nebuchadnezzar. And you know that leader represents the devil. The devil. You think you are devilish? Now I'm going to bring the devil himself to destroy you. And you know the story. And you know the story. Nebuchadnezzar was out there conquering nations. But you know, in chapter 27, he said, 
in verse 3, this is what the Sovereign Lord says. You say, Tyre, I am perfect in beauty. Your domain was on the high seas. Your builders brought your beauty to perfection. They made all your timbers of juniper from China. They took a cedar from Lebanon to make a mass for you of oaks from Bashan. They made your oars of cypress wood from the coast of Cyprus. They made they made your deck are done with ivory, fine embroidered linen from Egypt was yourself to show you the luxury at that time, the wealth of that nation. Yes, the United States is known for its wealth, known for its beauty. But when you allow a tyrant to govern you, God said there is a curse upon you. And when we jump in, in, in verse ch chapter 27 now, in verse 33, when your merchandise went out on the seas, you satisfied many nations with your great wealth and your wares. Now what we see, people are not buying anymore from the United States. We, we, we import more than we export. You enrich the kings of the earth. Now you are shattered by the sea in the depths of the waters. My God, my God, your wares and all your company have gone down with you. You imagine, you know, we have rich companies, rich people in this country, and you allow this type of unrest and insurrection, guess what? N nobody can hit the street if we let disorder here. And people, what you think the poor people going to do? They can eat. They're going to invade your nice little house. They're they are going after you. They said, you know, this guy got money in there. <laughs> you know, they're going to break down your wall. You need order in this country in order for us to thrive and to prosper. Amen and amen. The Lord said, seek peace and prosperity. This is what that can cause us to be successful and to stay number one. But the church, the Lord said, I have something against the church. When the Lord is talking about Jerusalem, hallelujah, when we say we are Christian, part of the commonwealth of Israel, the church is to be blamed. When you see a liar coming in and lie to you like that, you must expose the liar. You must expose the sinner. You cannot embrace a sinner. You are here to change people. Not to cause them, not to elevate them and cause them to be worse than they are. And the Lord said, this is why I remember, this is why he will destroy so many of you in the clergy. And some of you, you have days to live, the Lord said. I remember when the Lord gave me the word in 2017. He said, tell them, they are entering the breakdown decade. And I never thought we will come so far and become so low as a nation. It is grace for the whole world. My God, my God. Now other people, you know, are talking about us. We become a laughing scorn all over the world. I hear another leader talking bad about the United States. How can we allow that to happen? My God, my God. 
The Lord is saying unto us, if you think in the light of the things that happened last week, you know, the spirit of Tyre is put to rest. He said, wait for this week coming. When he pronounced the curse on Tyre, there is a curse upon the tyrants of this world, said the Lord. He will destroy them. They will become like bare rocks. That means if you think if you think you are wealthy now, God said, I will strip you of your wealth, said the Lord. I will destroy you, said the Lord. Because God is a God of order. We must maintain order in this country. My brothers, my sisters, I say unto you, put this debt down January 14 and some of you you will see the hand of the Lord in your life blessing you but for the wicked hallelujah God said I will intensify my wrath my anger upon you the Lord want to bless us not to curse us this is why i said to you this month january 2021 this is the month to ward off the judgment we have been found guilty before the lord and the lord is saying unto us it's time to repent some of you religious leader you must go on your knees and repent before your God because of your position that you have taken. You have led my people astray, said the Lord, and you will pay a price for that. Cast out from your midst the spirit of Tyre and do not allow a tyrant to come in into the church and deceive God's people. Holy Father, I have given to your people your word, and I say unto them that for some of them, they will receive your blessing, your 1,000-fold blessing, but for the wicked, they will suffer your wrath if they do not cast out from their midst the spirit of Tyre. Holy Father, we love you, we thank you. And I say unto you, as your priest, to have mercy upon us, allow your grace, you know, and your love to be in our lives. We will glorify your name. We will give you the praise that you deserve. In Jesus' name. Amen.